Hi, Teacher Sam here. Welcome to Thornhill English Academy. Today we're talking about reading tips for the IELTS exam. We talked about reading before and we know that time is a major issue. We have 60 minutes in which we need to answer 40 questions. So that only gives us about a minute and a half for each question. If we want to be successful, if we want to find the right answers, we're going to have to use some techniques. Skimming and scanning are the two most useful tools that we have for finding the information that we need really quickly. We already looked at skimming in previous lessons. Skimming involves jumping through the text very quickly, looking at headings, subheadings and pictures, finding topic sentences, as well as looking for key words in the text. Today we're going to look at scanning. Scanning is very different to skimming. Scanning means we're looking through the words for a specific piece of information. To get an idea of this, we're going to play a game called Find the Dog. So I'm going to show you a picture of some pandas. And somewhere amongst the pandas, a dog is hiding. We're going to see how quickly you can find the dog. This is very similar to looking for a specific word or piece of information in an IELTS text. Are you ready? Get ready. Go. Okay, did you find the dog? So the dog is right here. So when we're looking for a dog or a specific animal amongst lots of other similar animals, it's the same as looking for a word amongst lots of other words. In the case of the dog, we're looking for an animal. It's helpful to know what kind of animal we're looking for. Uh, is it a land animal? Is it a fish? Is it a bird? For the word, this means knowing what type of word we're looking for. What's the word form? Is it a noun, a verb, an adjective? Something like that. Also, when we're looking for the dog, knowing the shape of the dog is very helpful. What shape? does it have? Words also have shapes. So does it start with a capital letter? Is it a very long word? Is it a short word? Is it a number? All of this information is going to help you scan more effectively. In the exam or in any kind of reading, we might not be looking for exactly the same word. We might be looking for another word that has the same meaning, a synonym. So while we're scanning, while we're looking for that word, we need to also keep in mind possible synonyms. Imagine we're scanning for the word dog rather than for a picture of a dog. In this case, we're going to look for canine, four-legged friend, furry four-legged friend, any word that means dog. We're going to try a quick example. I'm going to show you a text on the screen and you're going to look for one word in that text. The word is cyberbullies. Cyberbullies, it's a noun. It's a plural noun. It's quite long. So we know the shape of it. We kind of know what it looks like. Let's see how quickly you can find the word cyberbullies in our text. Are you ready? Go. How did you do? Did you find it? How do we improve these scanning skills that we have? It's important to understand that scanning is very different to skimming. And in fact, it's very different to normal reading. This may sound kind of odd, but when we scan, it's better not to read. It's better not to understand what we're looking at because our brain works a lot faster by just recognizing shapes. If we're trying to process the meaning of what we're reading, this is going to slow our brain down. How do we stop our brain from processing what we're reading? Well, we can do that by reading the words in the wrong order, starting, for example, at the bottom of the paragraph and moving towards the top like this. Or we can move in a zigzag, a 
across the text. Again, we're not following the meaning of the words. We're just looking for a specific word, a specific shape. Let's give it a try. We're going to practice now with using the first technique. That was scanning from the bottom of the paragraph towards the top. And we're going to do it with our example text again. And you're going to look for a different word. The first word we're going to look for is defense. And remember, we're using scanning from the bottom of the text towards the top. OK, are you ready? Go. All right, did you manage to find the word? Let's practice with another technique now. We're going to try the zigzag technique. This time we're going to look for the word grades. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Did you find the word? Remember, don't let your brain process what you're reading. Use a zigzag pattern so that you can't follow the meaning of the text. It will be a lot faster and more effective. Okay, now we've got these techniques, and you can practice them a lot more, obviously. We're going to try looking for synonyms. A little bit more difficult because we can't just find the exact word, the shape of the word, like we said, but we do need to keep different meanings of this word in mind. So now you're going to scan for a word that has the same meaning as the word largest. So a synonym for the word largest. Okay, go. The last word we're going to look for now is a word that has the same meaning as to stop someone from doing something. To stop someone from doing something. So scan for that word now and use one of the techniques we looked at earlier. Top to bottom or zigzagging. Okay, so we should be getting pretty good now at scanning. And scanning is a skill you can practice with any text at any time. The faster you can scan, the faster you'll be able to find information in the exam. Let's just have a quick review of that. So, skimming and scanning. Skimming, we said, means starting by looking at headings, subheadings, and pictures to get the general topic, then jumping through the paragraph, looking at topic sentences, maybe making some notes of the main ideas, and looking at key words in each paragraph as well. All of this to get a general meaning of the paragraph, the main idea. Scanning is completely different. We said this is looking for one specific word or one specific piece of information in the text. And we said that we can help our brain to scan by reading in a different pattern, starting from the bottom of the paragraph to the top, zigzagging around. And also, we can help our brain by knowing what we're looking for. What type of word are we looking for? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. Is it a long word or a short word? Does it have a capital letter? Is it a number? And we said knowledge of synonyms is important too, because we're not always looking for that exact word. We may be looking for a synonym. We're now going to practice both of these skills with a text. So get ready and remember everything we just talked about. Welcome to Thornhill English Academy online learning portal. 
With Thornhill English Academy, you'll get face-to-face -face video contact with your native English speaker teacher for the whole lesson. All of our native English speaker teachers have master's degrees from Western universities. And you'll be studying with them in small groups, so you get a lot of face time with your teacher. All of our courses are conducted with a trained IELTS examiner. And our video and audio quality are exceptional. We give regular IELTS tests with full feedback from examiners and we provide proven strategies for success in every part of the exam. Our local staff at Thornhill speak your language and will answer any problems or questions via phone or email. They'll give you free training on how to use our software. Head to our website www.thornhillenglish.com to check out our amazing prices. We also offer conversation, listening and speaking classes for all levels of learners. Or click the screen for some more IELTS Tips videos. See you soon at Thornhill.